Hi, I'm Ranger Karen with the Jean Lafitte National Historical Park and Preserve. Our mission is to protect, protect and promote the historic, natural, and cultural resources of South Louisiana. We have six sites that make up our park, our visitor center in the French Quarter, the Chalmette Battlefield, the Baratary Preserve, and three Acadian cultural centers in Thibodeau and Lafayette and Eunice. I'd like to invite you or welcome you to the golden hour constant conversation. The golden hour is when the light is golden and the music is too. We had planned to be outside today, but a bad weather forecast has brought us inside this beautiful church that is now a recording studio. The band for today's concert will be the Pine Leaf Boys based in Lafayette, Louisiana. And our host will be Nick Spitzer, who is the producer and host of the American Roots radio show. If you're watching live, I invite you to send us your comments and your questions. And uh, I hope that you will all share uh, this video with your friends. With that, I'll turn things over to Nick. I hope you enjoy the show. Hey, bien merci, Ranger Karen. How about that? Oh, right, right. A ranger out here with some Cajun music tonight. I'm Nick Spitzer from American Roots, and what a surprise. It rains in New Orleans, so we're indoors at the beautiful Esplanade Studios, and we've asked these gentlemen to make the big journey uh, across the big swamp from the prairies uh, down the Mississippi River to New Orleans. I want to have you make them welcome, applauding where you are so we can hear it maybe echoing where we are. The Pine Leaf Boys from Lafayette. So great to hear Cajun music right Woo. here in New Orleans. I'm glad you guys made it over here. 
Good to be here. Hey, you guys, you guys have been doing this a long time, representing Cajun music for a good while. This band's been around since what, 2004, 2005. Five. Yeah, so 15 years. Oh, you're you're the ancients now. We are. It kind of <laughs> came quick. It came up quick. That's for sure. Hey, tell us who we got here. Okay, well, over here in the fiddle, we got Mr. Chris Segura, uh, and thank y'all, thank y'all. Ooh, man, that applause is gonna <laughs> big fan club. Please, there, please, yeah. <laughs> uh, back here on the drums from Lafayette, got Mr. Drew Simon. Mm-hmm. And uh, thank y'all. Over here on the guitar, Mr. Jean Bertrand from Elton, Louisiana. And I'm Wilson Savoy. I'm from a little town called Eunice, Louisiana. Right. Yeah. What you got next for us, man? Next, we're going to do a tune called Dream of Me. In French, we call it Rêve à moi. And we're going to get Mr. Drew Simon to sing it for y'all back here. Y a quelque chose sur mon idée Y a une chose que moi je peux pas comprendre ça, bon. Tu m'as fait m'en aller C'est pour ça j'apprais brailler Et à cette heure je peux faire mes CDV Rêve juste à moi Quand je m'écoute pas jambé Juste à toi Rêve juste à moi Et moi je vais rêver Juste à toi Is it hard to play dance music when there's nobody dancing? Yes, it is very But they hard are dancing. Play. Oh, they we just can't see them. Can't they see are them. dancing. Right. Everyone yeah. right now on Facebook is dancing. There you go. That's true. I, that's yeah. what I heard. Yeah. Well, I, I, in this time, I mean, Cajuns all get together at dance halls and festivals, uh, but so they just can't go arm in arm outside that. Uh, that right. It's a new kind of dancing. Yeah. The 2020 dancing, six feet apart. Yeah, there you go. Distance dancing. It, distance dancing. Yeah. Well, what's me- next? I, I see you got that accordion. Uh, is that one you made or your daddy made? Who made that one? My dad made this for me. It's my first accordion. Is that right? Yeah, my dad made it for me. He gave it to me when I was about 13. And uh, this was made from a tree that my grandfather planted. Yeah, and when he died, the tree had died shortly after. So my dad 
It's true. Yeah. My dad cut the tree yeah. down. It was a dead tree at that point. It was a sassafras tree and made this accordion. For that, me. that is roots that's, music. That's, uh, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I've traveled with this all over the world, been to 23, 24 countries with this accordion. I, I actually ran over it one time with my car. Oh, I shouldn't say that. My, my dad might hear that, but uh, <laughs> I had to put it behind my car one time and ran over it, and it was fine. I don't know how that happened. Well, you at least you know who you could go to get it repaired if you had to. You would think so. But he, <laughs> of course, he, he might say, uh, we'll uh, see. Yeah, no. He lets <laughs> me have it. So uh, yeah, if you break a reed, you don't want to bring it to my dad. He'll, he'll, he'll you know. He'd know. He will not be impressed. <laughs> there you go. I've never broken a reed. Well, no. it sounds good, so we just got to keep asking you uh, to, you know, blow a little bit of air there. We can do that. Well, what's the next one we were thinking about doing? Oh, yeah, Stem du Jour. This is a great one. This is one we recorded on our last CD. I yeah. think it's uh, uh, or one of those CDs, and it's "I Love You Always." Yeah, still. "I Love You Always" or "I Love You Still" in mm -hmm. French can be either or. You know, "Stem toujours." So I guess it depends on the context. So is this a waltz or a two-step? Uh, two-step. All right. And the the waltz, you know, every two-step has a common waltz. So this one comes from the Reno waltz, which is a famous Cajun waltz. So if if you play it as a waltz, mm -hmm. you have a whole new song. There you go. You know, so sometimes we'll take every song and just play the opposite. You know. So here we go. "Stem uh, toujours." <laughs> Des enfants qui t'aiment, ils vont pleurer. Jour c'est toi qui vas brailler. Tu vas trouver du cœur que je t'aime stand up if you want to. I know, but then I would look like the only weirdo standing up. Here. I, I, I can manage. I can That's manage. never bothered you in my experience. <laughs> well, so far, hello everybody out there. Hope you're enjoying it. If you're just joining us, uh, this is American Roots, the golden hour on Facebook and radio and uh, all forms of media known to man, I guess. And we've got the Pine Leaf Boys who are bringing us the classic sound of Cajun music. They're very current and contemporary. But y'all dig deep into uh, the roots for your sound, your repertoire. We do. We, uh, we go pretty on both ends of the spectrum, I find. You know, we love the old stuff, but we love new stuff, too. We have different influences from rockabilly to country to jazz music. We try to incorporate all of our different genres that we love into our music. 
Yeah. yeah, and uh, Drew Simon was playing the T fair back there. This yeah, time. I was yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. It's like you're a good multitasker, Drew. I mean, you can sing and play T fair at the same time. <laughs> I've been doing it a while. I'm getting, I'm just getting used to it now. Yeah, it's a long time. It's, it's not easy to do. It's like no. rubbing your belly and patting your head kind of thing. You know, yeah, you do all that at the same time. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, there's a, I'm sure there are unusual talents all over here in the Pine Leaf Boys, and we'll find out about more <laughs> of them. But uh, what's next? Well, we can do one that's kind of fun. Uh, it's called I Long Rock and Roll. Yeah, well, yeah. along rock and roll. I think that means let's rock and roll. Very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's French. That's Cajun some, uh, French, French 101 right there. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do this for our bass player who's at home, Thomas David, because of social quarantine, and they told us only four. But I hope he's at home right now playing the bass, you know. I'm sure he's <laughs> at home right now playing with us, you know. <laughs> Maybe we can add him yeah, to the feed. Yeah, yeah, we'll add it in a later right, track. Right, right. <laughs> All right, uh, here we go. It's called Along Rock and Roll. Let's go rock and roll. Well, I don't know, I've been told, ain't enough have made sweet rock and roll, my baby. Oh, my pretty baby. Let's get together, rock and roll all night. Well, if you got money, I got time. This go time, I'm gonna spend my time, my baby. Ooh, let's get together, rock and roll all night. Yeah. Rock and roll all night. Oh, get it, Mr. Chris. Well, if you got money, I got time. This go time, gonna spend my time, my baby. Oh, my baby, yeah, yeah. Let's get together, rock and roll, rock and roll, but I would do, 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 So English language, rock and roll, country western, that gets into Cajun music a little bit. Oh, yeah, in the 50s, man, because people, they, they, they heard on the radio, they wanted to try to do it on the accordion, and Lawrence Walker figured out you could play rock and roll music on the Cajun accordion. Yeah, so, I mean, if, even if the language isn't French, the music is French, but rocked out. Exactly. It works. And there's both. They have rock and roll in French, and they have some rock and roll in English, too. Yeah. yeah. Now, now uh, your, your dad is a, a deep traditionalist, uh, makes accordions, uh, plays fiddle. Uh, how does he feel about all the changing music? Uh, you know, his, his son's out there uh, playing French music all over the world. I'm sure he's proud of you, but does well, he have an opinion on any of this? He likes the really old stuff, is no yeah. question. You know, anything like... 1960 and before, you know, <laughs> from, uh, you know, he loves all that stuff. He doesn't really relate or understand uh, the more evolutionary Cajun music, like what's happening after all that, you know? You mean there's a difference between a father and a son in Cajun culture, <laughs> generationally? What are we talking about here? Yeah, my dad was born in 1940. Uh-huh. Right, so he just loves old... My dad likes the kind of music he says that when the power goes out, you can still play. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he likes nothing what? electric which is weird because he asked me to play electric keyboard in the family band many years later so uh, some things really? don't quite add up you know well either that or he's a deep at heart he's a progressive kind of guy you know speaking of the keyboard we do have a piano here I noticed it's a little honky tonk New Orleans yeah piano. and I know you're not alienated by honky tonk pianos no that's my first my first love was the piano is it yeah, yeah. yeah would you mind squeezing your first love well I guess I'd be plinking your first love well there's many words for it but we'll use them when yeah. you chose yeah, yeah let's not yeah. call it uh, pounding your first love yeah we can do one uh <laughs> we can do a little one that's inspired by it's a cajun cajun tune from uh, lawrence walker but uh we're gonna do it on the piano and uh it's kind of like new orleans -y, meets cajun music you know so yeah well i mean new orleans is la grande ville and uh, you know it's uh, a short walk to the piano and by mm -hmm. radio and records it was a close link between new orleans rural french louisiana absolutely which in cajun music you don't hear too much piano because when you do hear it, they usually only play these last 10 buttons, you know, on the piano. It's always like, 
They don't realize there's a whole another like 70 something buttons on a piano. So. But you, however, my goal is to play the other 70 buttons <laughs> on the keyboard. So yeah, we Wilson can do Savoy it. Wilson Savoy at the 88s. So it's called uh, Keep Your Hands Off Of It, which I think is very relevant in this day and age. <laughs> If it don't belong to you Keep your hands off of it If it don't belong to you I wanna give you mama loving Don't care what you do Well now just in case You made a mistake I'm just talking about my birthday cake Now keep your hands off of it If it don't belong to you I wanna give you mama loving Don't care what you do I play my dance all night Well, I'm an old pop liner Play those pops all day I got a 45 of women This way to draw my page Well, now I'm just in case I made a mistake How could you talk about birthday cake But keep your hands off of it If it don't matter, I belong to you Well, I'm giving my loving I don't care what you do Come on, Mr. Chris Clean. Oh, I went to Texas to get my carburetor clean. Where the Louisiana women sold me as a gasoline. Well, now I'm just in case I made a mistake. I just talked about my birthday cake. Keep your hands off of it, it don't belong to you. I wanna give you my love and don't care what you do. I said I wouldn't give you my love and I don't care what you do. Wilson Savoy on the piano. How about that? Yeah. Hey, it's amazing to hear you playing piano. Well, like you say, you don't hear it around Cajun music that You don't much. hear too much, which Jerry Lee Lewis is from. You know, he's from Louisiana. Well, yeah, but he's from up north near Memphis where it's... He's up north know, Louisiana. And all that sanctified church music is piano music and shouting it out. So, you know, right. but that's, that's wonderful to hear you doing that. Well, thank you. Can can I talk to some of these other gentlemen Absolutely. here? I know I know you're you you have much to say. Your family is a, is a family of speakers. Well, these guys have a lot to say too. They all do. Oh, yeah. I know they do. Uh, you know, but I want to. Tous les bands parlent français. Everyone in the band speaks French. Huh? C'est plaisir pour moi par l'anglais pour l'audience en général. But we can try a little bit. So uh, I just had a, I had a little question over there uh, for Jean Bertrand. Uh, Jean, I, I I saw that you kind of started life as a cowboy. A lot of Cajun cowboys out there on the prairies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there was. You got to shout it out, baby. Yeah, we were uh, grew up out in the country. Not you know, weren't a whole lot of the kids my age, and it's all old dudes uh, that ran around sp speaking French and doing Cajun stuff and cowboy stuff. So yeah, um, did that until I ran into these guys. <laughs> Out on the prairie is lots of cowboys, and then of course there's rice farming and uh, soybeans and uh, yeah, cool all that fish. stuff. Kind of, and he's an old cattle area, really. Right, right. It, it 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 grows grass without trying. You have to do all kind of other stuff to make it do everything else. Rainfall is helpful. Right. <laughs> well, you leave it alone, it's going to make grass on it, and the cow eat the grass. But you know, to make rice, you got to like pull levees and right. put water on it and fertilize it. And, well, Cows, some and some people rotate their crops where they right. where they might have uh, one year uh, they're going to have what uh, soybeans the next year crawfish yeah, they back to rice yeah yeah I, I'm biased I just want to put cows on and walk away and go play music uh huh <laughs> <laughs> of course Jean grew up in a in a rice culture it's all about the rice right. his yeah. dad's a mega rice farmer on right Alton, dad yeah. loves rice and 
Okay. Yeah. Drew, how about you? Where, where did you get into all this? Tu parles well, français, c'est vrai? Um, I, was, I started late playing music. I was 18. Um, my brother started a band, and he needed a drummer. And I, I was like, well, I think I can teach myself how to play drums. So I did. And then I'll never forget, uh, I was just started at um, uh, UL in mm -hmm. Lafayette. University of Uni Louisiana. University of Louisiana, Lafayette. And 2000, no, I've been for, going for a few years, and I was coming out of my first class, and I'll never forget seeing Wilson and Chris out um, busking, right? They're playing, playing music, so that was 18 years ago. And I started hanging out with them, and uh, like Jean said, uh, we ran into these guys and we started a band. That's so how he met his wife. Yeah. <laughs> it all fits I together. Met, I met my wife uh, through these guys, you know, if it wasn't been for Cedric Watson playing out on his... Uh, car outside my wife wouldn't have slammed on her brakes and backed up and because she wanted to learn how to play the fiddle herself so yeah so it all comes back to cajun music <laughs> well let's not make this like the jerry springer show oh, okay no. luckily we don't have any you know crazy people in the audience at least that we can see uh and uh, back on the other side here uh, playing the fiddle uh, you know uh chris segura uh you're an instrument maker yourself now. I know you played the fiddle a long time, but you, you got into making fiddles. Yeah, um, I guess it's it's been a little over 10 years now, but uh, I applied for a grant through the Louisiana Division of the Arts and was awarded that grant to basically build a violin uh, with Miss Anya Burgess out of Orneville. And yeah, um, so I've been doing it ever since. And, and what number fiddle have you got here? This is my 12th. Freshly, uh, freshly finished about a month ago. Right off the assembly line, huh? Yeah. yeah. Hey, wanted to let you know that uh, this is American Roots, a show we call The Golden Hour. We're indoors because uh, of inclement weather at this beautiful Esplanade studio in New Orleans. We hope you're listening to us. And uh, we got folks around the country uh, from uh, Maryville, Louisiana, up in Canada. Sure. How about Philadelphia? I spent time in Philadelphia, one of my favorite cities, though I Kind of like New Orleans, there, too. <laughs> and old Chatham, New York, up there in Oregon, out, out west. And Red Wing, Minnesota, home of, I think, Red Wing Shoes. And Ooh, who yeah. knows? Who knows what else? And uh, I, I'm told that, that we, uh, uh, the audio is cutting in and out a little bit for people out there. So don't worry. We're working on it. We're, we're going to get it set. Everything will be good. Oh, don't even get me started on that. <laughs> <laughs> no big whoop. Hey, you know, yeah. it's all uh, all going out on Facebook and improvising. We're also going to make some American Roots radio programs out about this and so uh it'll all be good when the uh, when the time is ready uh to continue with the golden hour both now and in the future so uh what should we go on with here gentlemen well i'm gonna do one that i like to play it's called uh mes chatis uh, noir little dark eyes about a man he's sitting on his porch in his rocking chair watching the sun go down waiting for his loved one to come home it's a great little tune we're gonna play it for you right now les chatis noir Chatis du noir, allez partir, va jamais lui la voir.
Yashi, si Magali, le guetté, le soleil après coucher. Je m'ennuie si j'adore, mes châtis yeux noirs, allez parti, va jamais, oui la voix. Little Dark Eyes, Wilson Savoie with the Pine Leaf Boys. You know, Wilson, it's that time of the show that we ask a special question. What is a pine leaf? Well, I can give you the long story or the 10 second version. The 10 second version is that uh, me and Jean went Christmas caroling one year. And it was, it was in Louisiana and it began to snow. And I remember looking up in a tree and I saw some pine leaves or maybe needles in a oak tree. And I thought to myself, how unique to see leaves, uh, in a, to see pine needles in an oak tree. This is a very stupid story, but it, it is going somewhere. Hey, you're over 10 seconds. Thank you so much, <laughs> right. Savoy, for playing okay, our contest I need like five more. <laughs> and then I said, hey, let's start a band with a, with a name that no one's gonna understand. And I said, as a joke, then I left town Come, lo and behold, I get back. He made all these posters with the name Pine Leaf Boys, Pine Leaf Boys, playing tonight at Grand Street. And then it was stuck. We couldn't Yeah, you know where once the posters yeah, go too up late, in too South late. Louisiana. And we thought, this is only for fun. It's never going to become anything. And like two years later, we're in Europe doing our first tour. You know? Oh, so, yeah. And you've oh, gone yeah. all over the world with all the Pine Leaf Boys. State Department tours and cr countries I never even heard of and d definitely couldn't spell or <laughs> pronounce. <laughs> you remember That's that? right. American yeah, roots yeah, we in, have a history uh, Minneapolis or St. Paul or something. That's think. right. Yeah. Minneapolis, St. Paul, one of those twins. One of those two. Hey, speaking of which, we've got listeners tonight uh, in Minneapolis, as well as Close to home in Abbeville, Rain, Louisiana, Crot Springs, Louisiana, out in Seattle, North Dakota, Rhode Island. Amazing. And you know, the Park Service is really all about background and ideas and information on culture. If you have questions for the Pine Leaf Boys, I'm sure they'd be willing to answer them. We already now know what a Pine Leaf is, and everyone in the audience can recite it in 10 seconds. But if you have any other thoughts or questions, just go ahead and, uh, you know, send us a note, and we'll try and uh, see if we can convey it. Well, that? you know, I was going to say, uh, because of all the pandemic, this is our first gig, really, in two months. Really? Well, over two months, two and a half months. Yeah. Just sitting down, playing for, like, an actual group of people and an audience. Right. It's a big thing. And after this, nothing until maybe August. Well, yeah. you have been doing your own streams from the backyard. I, we've been doing house. a little bit of stuff, so just kinda, which is more of an excuse to drink a beer and play some music yeah yeah but this feels with you being here it feels like an actual gig you know what i mean oh yeah. I'm, is, wait, i is, must be an is adult that a good now. thing is that a, is that a good it feels like a job right now yeah, yeah. No, oh, no, no, no no don't no, say no. job no no hey no. you know how about this place this incredible yeah. church amazing 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 yeah yeah this is where the the sacred surrounds the everyday you know right i didn't say profane the, the everyday yeah it's so nice though to have you here and there's this gigantic organ behind us and you can imagine all the Doo -doo -doo. the preacher yeah right yeah. right but you know we, we we got the accordion but you know we'll, we'll stick with the little accordion today it makes Cajun a big organ sense right here oh, is, is that what is Cajun that what people organ. call it yeah, that's what i call it I, i'm afraid that would lead to a lot of jokes that we're not going to do tonight no. <laughs> so uh how about something, uh, you know, up-tempo, bluesy? I don't know. I'm a, there's so many great Cajun kind of blues mixes. Let's do a, let's do a, a French blues. We'll do a blues de Bosco. That's a fun one. Little town Bosco, little village Bosco? Yeah, Bosco, Louisiana. All right. There's a whole bunch of Bosco in Cajun. There's Bosco Stomp. There's blues de Bosco. And that's actually it. So there's two. <laughs> uh, you know. But what is it about? There's so many uh, songs that are named after ta towns. I mean, the Eunice Two-Step, Lafayette Waltz. I mean, you can just go right down the list. Right. I think eventually they're going to run out of towns, right? You know, there are a lot of towns in, in Louisiana. 
Where's Bosco? I don't even know where that is. Uh, isn't it near? Uh, north of like Scott. Yeah. I was going to say, it's. Ne- I think it's near Vatican, isn't it? Yeah. And right, of course, Mr. there is a Vatican in Louisiana. Over here. All right. Northwest of Lafayette. Okay. Let's be clear. I think. Well, we'll find out. Yeah. Uh, all right. Here we go. This is called the Blues of Bosco. Savoy with the French blues. You know, I got to tell people out there in Eunice, Louisiana, there's a great uh, Savoy Music Center uh, that many have visited over the years, and it includes uh, visitors that want to play music on Saturday mornings. It's really the mainly the workshop for your dad over the years, uh, making accordions and uh, helping people get their sounds right. But you have a jam session, and uh, Joe is writing to ask us: Is the uh, is the Saturday morning jam session still going on? The Saturday morning jam session is still going on, but during the pandemic, they stopped it. Okay. They, you know, he's been doing it for 50 years, never canceled one. But then for the last month, month and a half, they had to cancel it because a lot of the people who go there are of the older generation. So to mm. be safe, they stopped doing them for a while. Makes sense. Yeah. And it's a great place. And I, I should mention, I mean, your whole family makes music. I mean, your, your father's a great instrumentalist, a National Heritage uh, Award winner from the National Endowment for the Arts. Your mother is a wonderful singer and guitarist and uh, author. And uh, I know your brother, Joel, produces records, an incredible fiddle player, went to China with him. <laughs> I think right. he's still there, actually. He's, no, he, yeah. he made it back. I wonder what happened to him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then you, and you, got, and you got sister. Got sister Sarah, she lives in France, has a Cajun band in France. Is that in Paris? Uh, she, she was living in Paris, now she lives a little bit outside of Paris. She just had a new baby. Right. Uh, and I got a younger sister, Gabi, who's also an artist and uh, 
very involved in art for Cajun music and making shirts and all that kind of stuff. So very involved in all facets of Cajun music. For sure. Yeah. Well, people used to joke that the that the Savoy family was a sort of a, a one family Cajun revival, but it doesn't feel like a revival. It just feels like continuity to me. Just... Well, my dad, my dad would say revival. It never died to begin with. There you yeah. go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Somebody's got to stand up for his point of view. Right, right. I, I love that. Well, um, what, what you, oh, there was a question here about who is Joe... Who is who? Let me look. Oh, who is Wade Adams? Oh, Wade Adams. That's Rachel's dad. Oh, okay. Rachel is my girlfriend, and that's uh, her dad. Okay. Yeah. Well, now we know. Wade did, did Wade Adams do something or say something? Well, we're or, or, or did somebody ask who that was? Yeah, somebody asked oh. who's Wade Adams. Great question. Whoever asked that. Thank yes. you. Yes. <laughs> Will the real Wade Adams please stand up? <laughs> Yeah, I feel Out of like all this, the questions you could have asked. Th this format almost could go to comedy quiz pretty quickly, couldn't it? Got to be a little careful about that. Yeah, you are on live, whatever it is, Facebook. Yeah. Yeah, it, it is a little odd. Uh, I mean, we're, we're kind of in a session like a studio, but there, there's no studio audience, uh, and and then there's no dance. But we have to imagine all those people. You know, we have played for less people. Have you? Less than zero. Yeah. We have. Less and than zero? What does have. that mean? There's a couple corpses on the floor? It's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> less, less than zero is when, a, when one of your bandmates walks off the stage. Oh, okay. Then you're playing for less than zero. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, in those yeah. gigs, we, have, we, we love playing music, so we have fun. You know right. what I mean? A yeah. lot of bands, if they play for an empty house, it's not a fun band to watch. You know what I mean? But right. we actually kind of feed off that. We get to have fun. We get to experiment. So even right now with... Only these good-looking guys out here in the audience, uh, and as good-looking as y'all are, even that, uh, how pitiful that is, we're, we're used to that or, or worse. So, uh, you know, <laughs> I had to, that's what I call a compliment sandwich right there. Yeah, yeah just, just visualize yeah. other times and places. You notice my eyes stay closed the whole time I play. So I'm imagining 20,000 screaming fans There you there. go. You know, Jazz Fest, which would have been like two weeks ago, right. was canceled this year. And that's usually one of my top favorite gigs sure. of the year. And that's like a sea of... And yeah, and, and you people. and you do your own set with Pine Leaf, and yeah. there's a family set yeah. on the uh, the, the Cajun music stage. That was a big loss. Stage, this year. We're really stage. sad about that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, life is part improvisation, so that's what we're doing today. You know, I, I really love how you uh, fold in different kinds of music to Cajun music, and it doesn't feel like it's, uh, you know, it feels like it's real. And I was listening to something, I don't, I, I'm not sure I can just simply say, could you do this one, but maybe I will. It's called, uh, What's the Matter with My Baby? Is that doable? What's the matter with my baby? Yeah, c'est ça. En français, comme il dit. Repère toi. Wow, that's an possible. unusual. That's an unusual that, request. Did somebody request it? I requested it. <laughs> I know there's millions of people out there, but I'm in a lucky position yeah. here to the Wait, right of the Pine Leaf we? Boys. Yeah. Don't we play that after one song? Usually? After um, we do we do this. Cajun yeah. Church Point. Yeah. Oh, so you want to do Cajun Church Point first? We, yeah, sure. Would that make you feel? Well, do we have time? Uh, as far as I know, uh, we, we started a little late, and we're probably okay. We probably got another. Hey, Facebook. Bit hey, here. Mark. Mark Zuckerberg. Do we have time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. good yeah, he's, mind, yeah. he's got the big switch. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, right, right. Cajun music's right. not going to make it on the. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, sure. yeah uh, can that, we can do both if you want. If you got time, yeah. Well, so, okay, you want to do? You want to do it the way you like to do it with Cajun from Church it Point? It don't matter. I mean, it doesn't matter. Yeah, why not? I'll do a little piece of Cajun from Church Point. We'll go into his. And, and uh, Cajun from Church Point is is a takeoff on the Merle Haggard Okie from Muskogee. Right. Yeah. You, you know, you, but you before right. he passed, Merle Haggard told me that Okie from Muskogee was a joke. It was a joke. Well, that they were driving down, the, driving down the highway near Muskogee, and one of the band men said, I bet they don't smoke marijuana in Muskogee. Mm -hmm. And if you know Merle Haggard, uh, it had a special meaning. <laughs> right, right. And, and, and he had never intended to become the anthemic song that it did. It, sure. um, but Cajun from Church Point is a nice knockoff. It yeah. is almost the same melody, and we talk about eating boudin and uh, going to the village on every Saturday. And le mot c'est le... Plus gros thrill of all. That's it, yeah. yeah that's Love's, it. Love and still the biggest thrill of all. That's all it. All right. We'll do this for all the folks out there from Church Point, Paul Daigle, and whoever else lives out there at the Church Point Buggy Fest. <laughs> Grand Church Point, I bet you must have 
On mange le boudin tous les matins L'amour c'est le plus grand thrill of all Oh c'est girl Perfect pairing. It's just like we recorded it. Perfect. Yeah. All good, man. Mm -hmm. Good to see you. Jump in the middle. Yeah. And, and also, uh, I, I understand that the phone lines or uh, I should say the emails are clogged with people from Church Point. Uh, wow. You know, letting us know that they're out there. Actually, my, my brother. Uh, they have phones in Church Point? No. <laughs> well, I, I think it's just a nickel with a pay phone. Mm -hmm. Um, I understand my brother's listening over there in Maryland, and my sister lives up in southern Maine uh, with her husband, Richard. Nice. They, they saw you all at uh, the Folk Festival of Bangor a few years ago. Oh, yeah. So they're having an out-of-body experience back to those days. So, so we got folks, family, friends all over the country listening. Cool. Well, this is special because it's very rare we, you get to see us sitting down playing kind of an acoustic form of... Cajun music, you know, normally we have our flamethrowers and like the light show and the background <laughs> right, right. singers, but this is a lot more stripped down version. So this is a special, special thing. Yeah, sure. you know, I, I, the idea of a flamethrower at an old Cajun wooden dance hall is a little scary to me, but you know. Well, that's why there's no more dance halls in Louisiana. <laughs> All the wooden ones are gone. <laughs> but you know, I, I do, I've seen you guys, I think at La Poussiade, and I've yeah. seen you out in a bunch of country dance halls. And, La Poussiade but, and Lakeview Park, those are two great ones. Oh, there. they are. Set, set the scene for folks who've never been to the country Cajun dance halls, or, or even 
even the city dances. I mean, what's the vibe? Who's there? The ages? Well, I mean, Brobridge probably has, to, in, in my opinion, like the oldest dance hall still out there. You walk in, the ceilings are like, and it seems to me like they're about six foot high. You almost have to duck your head to get on. And the stage, when I'm playing, I mean, if I do this, I hit my hand on the ceiling. Uh, <laughs> a long room, even longer than this probably. And these old people, they walk in. And they, can, they seem like they can barely walk. It must be a game because then they get on the dance floor and they throw their cane and start running in circles with their partner. Yes. It's amazing. And Music dance has an four impact hours, yeah. on health. And then these young, young cats walk in and think they can hang and they want to be all cool and dance the wrong. You have to dance in the right direction. Oh, yeah. And they would like, like hippie dancing in the wrong direction. Those old people would come and they just like run over them like a truck. Sharp elbow time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so great dance hall. It's currently closed because for obvious reasons, but... Um, when it reopens after all this is over, you got to visit it. Like, yeah. And also Lakeview Park in Eunice. Yeah. A giant barn. I, I, I mean, people are missing that contact and oh, going yeah. to those dance halls. And I, It'll I think come everyone... back. There's a, there's, a, you know, there's a need for that. Eventually, people are going to have to have it back. You know? yeah. yeah. Well, one thing I like uh, right now actually doing radio is we're able to talk to so many people uh, who are home and have maybe a little more time to listen to a program or they're, or they're, you know, they're going into their album collection and getting that 70s record out and looking at the album cover. You know, they're reading the notes. But people, are, the point is they're, they're getting a little more thinking about the culture, the music, its meaning to them, things that are important in their lives. And uh, so there's a value, uh, you know, I guess that's the so-called silver lining. Uh, I'm hopeful, though, that a lot of this music streaming from artists all over, mm -hmm. continues and just kind of cuts out the middle some of the right. time. Well, we've been, um, I've been doing almost every night, I get a cocktail and I sit down and drink a cocktail and just play <laughs> solo accordion, which in right. my opinion would be very lame. Nobody, nobody would want to watch that. And yet people tune in and they make song requests and they watch it and they, they enjoy it. A lot of people write me emails how much they enjoy that. Never in my life would I have thought, had it not been for this pandemic, that people are gonna sit down on a computer and watch a dude play solo accordion. Right. So I've learned a lot, like there's actually people who still appreciate that. Yeah. That's really neat, yeah. Well, I feel like we should give a shout out to uh, the jazz banjo player, Don Vappi from a Creole family, New Orleans. And every morning at about nine on Facebook, he gives a morning talk show with roosters crowing and the cars passing. And then every afternoon around three, he does a, a solo jazz banjo uh, set En français, en anglais, les deux. And I think a lot of people around the country, I went to a site the other day where Native Americans were, were streaming powwow dancing wow. and singing about pandemic, you know, in the language. So it, people are finding ways to communicate. It's amazing, you know, that it's very easy to find the negative in all of this, yeah. but there's so much positive too. Like we enjoy lately slowing down a little bit, playing at home, practicing, and just doing all the things that normally we never get a chance to do because everything's rush, rush, yeah. rush. You know, but this has been great. Like this would never have happened probably had it not been for the pandemic. So yeah. we're grateful for this event right here. And, I, and I'm grateful to the National Park Service, uh, the Jean Lafitte National Historical Park, working with uh, uh, the New Orleans Jazz uh, Historical Park and uh, American Roots uh, based here in New Orleans and reaching everybody on public radio international. No, I bet I better get that network right. Let's edit that for the broadcast. <laughs> too many networks, too many years. And, and American... <laughs> American Roots on Public Radio Exchange, PRX. So we appreciate everybody uh, that listens everywhere uh, to, to all of what's going on. And uh, it's so great to see you all here making this happen for us. Uh, uh, I'm guessing the clock on the clubhouse wall is uh, beginning to wind down. We just have uh, about five minutes to go. Uh, so uh, what would you all like to go on? Well, we all live in Lafayette. Uh, I live in Lafayette. He lives in Lafayette. He lives in Lafayette. He lives in Elton which is a suburb of Lafayette, an hour and a half away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A, su a suburb through quite a few More of a uh, suburb fields. of Lake Charles, I guess, if we hit a big one. <laughs> yes. So, and, and yes, like Mr. Four. Savoy, your point is. Anyway, so we'll play a little tune. This is the first Cajun song ever recorded with a guitar and an accordion, husband and wife, Joe Falcon, Cleoma Falcon, and they call it Allons à Lafayette. Let's go to Lafayette one more time. Pine Leaf Boys, everybody give them a big round out there for, for us, would you? Maybe we'll Cheers. have a round when it's Cheers. over. Cheers. Cheers, y'all. Prost. <laughs> Uh, Keep G, first chord C.
changé ton nom On va t'appeler madame, madame Kanakomo Dites vite, dites trop mignon Pour faire la criminelle Comment tu craques au sein Pour faire mes mois tout seul Ça c'est bon. Yeah. Allons à la paillette, si vous changez ton nom, va t'appeler Madame Kana, Madame Kana comme moi. Je suis un savoir, tu danses mes trombolés, c'est juste pour me faire fâcher. Allons à la baie, on va chanter ton nom. Ma table et ma dame, ma table canal, mon Leaf boy savoring that last sound on the accordion there. Let's just say goodbye to him. It's uh, Jean Bertrand over there. Hey, Jean, thanks hey. so much. Singing and playing some uh, guitar. Drew Simon on the T-Fair and the drums singing a little Merci. bit. Uh, and we got Chris Segura right here on the fiddle. And Wilson Savoie on piano and accordion vocals, all that, the Pine Leaf Boys, tout ensemble, right here on the Golden Hour with American Roots, uh, the National Park Service, Elephant Quilt Productions. So glad to see everybody out there tonight, and we hope you'll be back for more, and we're hoping next week we're going to be able to do a little bit of jazz. Uh, uh, look, It's looking like uh, the barbecue swingers coming our way with Kermit Ruffin. So hang with us every week this way, and we'll hang with you. All right, thank y'all. <laughs>